Hi everyone, on today's video I want to show you something I've made in the last week and, uh, and I'll just go through the reasons why I've made it. A few years ago I started to learn Morse code and as part of the, the process of learning the code um, I used to sit down religiously every day and just write down what I was hearing. And that would be generated from some software, some websites, but one of the most impressive pieces of kit I purchased was a Morse uh, practice oscillator. And I bought one a number of years ago by Dayton and it was a few years old. And the great thing about it was I didn't need a computer, you didn't need to be sat next to, um, uh, you didn't need to be online, you didn't need to do anything. And I used to use it in the car at lunch times. I used to sit down with the pad, turn it on and write down exactly what it would beep out to me. The daytime was great. It used to send out uh, numbers, letters, um, or a mixture of both, and it used to send it out in blocks of five characters, um, depending on what you wanted to um, receive. The speed would go from um, eight words per minute right the way up to 30 plus words per minute, and you could also increase the gap between the characters. And as a newbie, that was pretty important because I needed plots and lots of space to um, understand the characters and that was great until a couple of years ago when I switched it on and I couldn't understand anything it was sending. It would send out spurious and random characters and actually it was just sending gibberish. So um, it went to the box and uh, was put away in the loft for a project to look into many years later and up until a couple of weeks ago I was using um, some websites but you know, I always wanted to get back out and uh, use a, a little box when I was around and about. A friend of mine came up and he said that his Dayton has sadly um, started sending out gibberish as well. And it made me think, could I replicate a Dayton D70 using an Arduino chip? Well, this week, that's exactly what I did. And let me show you exactly what I've created. Okay, so this is what I have created, and as you can see here, in terms of hardware, it's not that complicated. There's things here which I'm sure some electronics guys and Arduino fans will recognise. So, to start with, I've got a power supply here, so I can feed this with anywhere from 9 uh, to 12 volts. So there's a 5 volt regulator, an 80 mega 328 chip, a couple of uh, capacitors and a crystal, and an LED on pin 13 and then over here I've got some switches which I use to select my mode and uh, remember I said it was letters numbers mixed and there's a fourth button there which I'll come on to in a minute and then the controls here are the words per minute the gap and a volume and that's it the hard work is actually done in code um, and I've been able to add some extra functionality onto this, um, this iteration, which the original Dayton didn't have. So this button down here generates call signs. And uh, I'm not particularly happy with the, the code that I've written to do that, uh, but it does create call signs of a character, a number, some characters, and possibly a slash mobile or a slash portable. Some of the other enhancements I've made to this is I've actually made this work with an LCD display and so back here I've got four connections that feeds a four line 20 character display um, using an I2C um, serial connection and then down here behind the volume control I've got the output for the uh, speaker so let's put some volts on it connect a speaker and I'll put the screen on it as well and I'll show it to you working. So I hope you can see everything here and hopefully you can. If I press one of the options here Let me up the speed a bit. So, let me turn the volume down and I'll talk to you exactly what it's doing. Okay, so on the display here, and I'll 
I'll show you a close up. It's showing me my current words per minute. It's showing me my gap between my characters here. And it's showing me the mode which I've selected. And then it shows me the blocks of five characters which it produces on the top here. Let's turn the gap down a bit. There we are. And I hope you can see everything there. And then all we do is we can choose a, another mode. Now it doesn't work too well with push buttons. It needs a latch button, so a toggle switch would be perfect. And again, it showed me I've got numbers here. And I'm running this off of a nine volt battery, which I think you can just about see here. And uh, this is the speaker which I'm running, running it off of as well. It's plenty loud enough. I'm turning it down so I hope you can hear me. And then I've got mixed here as well. And when it goes beep, it gives me a character of what the mode currently is. So I don't need to have the display plugged in. So if you notice that just then it sent me an M in between two high pitch beeps. Uh, if I do letters again, it will send an L. And if I send numbers, it send an N. I think I might adjust the, the timing on that character, that, that mode selection. And then finally, it does call signs. And if you see down the bottom there, it says calls. I'm not really happy with the way it's displaying call signs at the moment and that's something I need to address. So uh, this isn't the final iteration of this, but uh, well, you get the idea anyway. I think you can see a better, better shot there of the display. So let me show you the speeds which it can go down to. Let me just zoom out a minute and I'll show you the speeds of which it can go down to. So let me push this back up here. So I can feed it all the way down to six words per minute this will go. Oh, four it's going down to now. And all the way up to 34. The gap is nothing. And I can get it all the way up to about 4.48. So there we go, that's my um, Arduino based um, Morse practice oscillator, um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, all the links to the source code and uh, the project details itself are available in the links below and also on my blog which is m0tgn.com. Um, have a look around, make any suggestions that you have and also um, let me know how you get on with it. Um, it's the first version, it's a bit hacky to be honest with you. There is some improvements I need to make to the code and uh, there are some improvements I need to make to some of the ways it works. Um, I know that already so please be gentle with me. Um, it's the very first version and, uh, and I hope it helps you to um, learn the code and get up to speed for uh, using it on the air. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.